Hello and welcome to the Nessler 21 Ignition Career Mode. We are on to race 18, the Pocono Organic 325. Recap the point standings really quick. Oh, okay, so they did just release a patch today. So a little visual feature. Looks like they've highlighted the playoff drivers in green. So a little visual there. Um, no changes to any of this stuff, but we are still first in the points with eight wins in 17 races. Uh, Nashville is completely abysmal. So we actually skipped that race. Uh, reputation 61%. If you missed the last video, um, we have we renegotiated our contract with track house to finish the season try to win a championship there see how that goes for us um well you see leaderboard we're almost at 200 with these eight wins not a whole lot really Ooh, excuse me not a whole lot really to discuss um so the nascar ignition the official twitter page actually reached out to me um after my coca-cola 600 race because i posted some clips on twitter TikTok, tagged them in it and they reached out asking for the full footage honestly because they wanted to try to learn from it and things like that so guys they're making an honest effort it's just i i don't think that you know they're doing their homework to try to fix this game completely i think they're doing it to make notes for nascar 22 to try to learn from it and get better but I think the core of this game, we pretty much have what we're going to get. Welcome to gorgeous Long Pond, Pennsylvania, for the kickoff of this weekend's Pocono Raceway doubleheader. I'm Alex Hayden, and today's practice sets us up to know exactly who will be the driver or drivers to look at going into this weekend's double dose of the Tricky Triangle. This track is easily one of the most unique on the schedule, and I'll explain why. This track is a two and a half mile triangle with three completely unique corners. It's one of the most difficult tracks for crew chiefs to set up and drivers to comprehend. Each corner features a different degree of banking and turn radius, while all three straightaways are different lengths. Speeds can reach upwards of 200 miles per hour going into turn number one, making today's practice one to watch. Okay, so. Not a lot to do here. Um, we're going to do what we normally do, skip practice, jump right into qualifying. Well executed. Let's get focused. See if we can have a pretty decent run. Listen to Alex talking about qualifying. Alex Hayden here, and we're back at Pocono Raceway for qualifying for race one of this weekend's doubleheader. With how intense these restarts can be, trying to be up front will only help you keep your heart rate down. I think if you ask any driver in the field where the restarts are the most hectic, they'd probably point toward turn one at Pocono Raceway. Starting up front gives drivers the advantage of being able to block or just drive hard into the first turn and avoid the melee behind. The front stretch is so wide that we'll see cars fan out to five or even six wide before funneling off into turn one. Being ahead of all of that mess starts today with qualifying. Drivers will have one lap around this tricky triangle to put themselves at the top of the pylon. I do want to qualify, and it looks like they put a different paint scheme on the car. So I don't know if that's part of the patch, because it wasn't in the notes. If they're going to do that, or if this is maybe just a race where they, good ones here. Um, all you've got. Where they throw the alternate scheme on. But Jimbo there's got the Camping World sheet on, or shirt on, and we've got our other... Comscope sponsor, so. Let's see if we can cut a good lap here. I've actually been to Pocono for a race. It literally is out in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania, but it is a beautiful racetrack. Um, I don't think there's a bad seat there. I feel like you could almost, I could have probably went faster through the tunnel there, but we'll see. Come up off the corner here. I mean, it, it, it felt stable. See where it puts us for speed. 
Oh, dead last. Okay. Oh, I was only three seconds off the pace. Larson Byron, Hendrick Motorsports front row. Okay. I mean, the car felt good. I didn't feel like it was too tight. I'm Alex Hayden, and we're here at Pocono Raceway in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania. This is the first race of the double header, and this racetrack really rewards teams that can set up their car to handle in the three unique turns here at the Tricky Triangle. I love that trophy, the eagle, the American flag, all that good stuff. I really, truly enjoy that. So we're uh, we're gonna see what we can do here. I hope I'm not three and a half seconds off the pace. Count on some of these glitches to uh, bring us up here. I mean, eight wins on the season, trying to go for number nine, keep us in the playoff picture. Uh, they said they added A.J. Allmendinger. I don't know what car he would be driving. Stay right. Still next to you. Clear, clear, clear. Stay right. Clear, clear. That's so right. They're immediately tight. And again, we're going to have another race where the field just pulls us. Maybe I am that slow. I don't know what's happened all of a sudden. But, I mean, this is kind of crazy if you know, we just go from one to the other. Unless I'm maybe jumping on the brakes where I don't need to. Okay, here we go. Picking up a little bit of time here. So maybe I don't need to jump on the brake. Turn one, I might have to a little bit, but two and three, I don't think I need to jump on the brake at all. I think we'll be able to get a couple passes here in the next couple laps, but just keep running smooth. Yeah, see, we make up a good chunk of time there in three, get a good run through there. Good run down the front stretch. Roll through one and two there as well. So just had to settle in, be able to get some decent lap times rolling. And there we completely blew the corner. I got back to the gas pretty quick there, and I still couldn't do do what I wanted with them.
And we'll ride on. There's what, seven, eight cars in front of us here? Clear, clear. You're in the middle here, three wide. Got away, Quinn. Tell me I'm finally gonna get by somebody and then I can't complete it. Come on, Quinn. To see how much I pick up on him in the middle of the corner. Got one right. It's the getting off that I can't really. Clear, clear, clear. Two on the outside. You're three. Got one right. That camera shake is terrible. All I can't clear. believe I'm back here running like this for 40th. It's embarrassing. worry that was going to happen trying to turn down under it's like can run the groove okay by myself as soon as i go start passing these people that want to drive like maniacs and i'm never going to get a big enough run to be able to get by a lot of them but No. Got one right. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. That's fine. I'll door you, David Reagan. I just need to get clear. I need to get one corner where I can just get clear and come up. Good job, Spotter. All right. You're gonna pull up on me, aren't you? Oh, you tried to. Got one left. Clear, clear, clear. Get by the 62. Nope. Do that. 36 tried to squeeze in there. I'm going to lean on the 62 a little bit. See, the draft should not be that crazy strong. I said, at least let me get in front of the 62. Maybe I can clear the next lap. If I'm close enough to catch the draft, it'll be even more. Down to 1.2. We are we're gaining on him. It'll be under a second off of three here. I couldn't stay in it. Caught the arrow push. Still under a second. I got four laps to find a way around all these guys. It's like if I'm higher than they are in the corner, I can't trust getting down to the throttle. And they're way high. 
this two times in a row. I couldn't get through three. If I catch this pack and can't pass any of them, I will legitimately be upset. Much better. Two to go. Stay right, stay right. Clear, clear. Stay left. Still there. Clear all around. Stay left. Clear, clear. Car right. Okay, I can get past McLeod this way. Just follow a 38 it's like you're on the bottom you have like no shot stay left stay left clear 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 okay got by three of them got four more corners to get the other three give me one more good one here Come on, Haley. Stay left. Still next to you. Clear, clear. I'm shoving it three wide if I can get in there. Two on the outside. You're three. Stay left. Two on the outside. Come on. Clear, clear. Three wide. Two outside. Three wide. Clear all around. Two on the outside. You're three. Car right. Three wide. You got two up top. Clear, clear. Two on the outside. You're three. Stay left. Clear all around. Couldn't get Stay by new one. 26. Well, it took us a couple laps to figure out the, the groove. And then we got it, so... 26 is not where I would have liked to have finished, but soon we start at 40th, not completely disastrous weekend. Larson taking the win over Ross Chastain. Byron and Bowman, 300 cars in the top top four. Chase ended up finishing 13th. Bubba with a sixth place finish. A couple of Penske cars up there. A lot of your... Oh, wait a minute. What did I... No way. Well, we uh we hit the wrong button, so <laughs> I guess we're just gonna go back to the menu and sim this race. Whoops. Yeah, we're going to see where it puts us. And it gave us a better finish. Gave us a 10th. Um, okay, well, newsflash, don't hit X. We are done with the race, but um, take a little bit better finish. I don't know who ended up. Truex actually ended up winning that one, so I took one away from Larson. So Truex is now in the playoff. It gives us nine playoff drivers overall. Um, we're still leading the way at the 40 playoff points. And... Uh, it's going to be like we never left in the next video because we're going to be right back to Pocono for the second race in the doubleheader. I hope to see you all there, see if we can improve on what our 26th place finish was now that we have a better idea of how to run the track. And uh, I will see you guys part two of the doubleheader. Thank you so much for watching.